Hi, good morning, YouTube. So I've had this Turnigy AccuCell 8150 150-watt uh, balance charger and discharger. I've had this for a while, and I want to get it set up to uh, start using it. Yeah, 1 to 8S on lithium, 1 to 27S on nickel metal hydride, NICAD, lead acid up to 36 volts and it's 150 watts so you get up to 7 amps charging up to 5 amps discharging and 150 watts total and there's a couple of strange things about this one you know compared to the IMAX B6 the IMAX B6 has the power input on this side and all of the charging on this side well, the Turnigy has the charging output is over here. These are banana jacks. It's got your temperature sensor over here, just like the IMAX. The balance leads are on this side, like the IMAX. But this is your power input cable. And it's hardwired and has a couple of alligator clips. So, what I want to do is I'm going to probably cut this off here and put on a Dean's plug. So I'll put on a, a female Dean's plug here and then I'm going to wire on a lighter plug onto here with a mating Dean's plug so I can connect that into my solar battery bank. So just to make this a little little more compatible with all my little adapters I want to hook up uh, a way to get this over to a Dean's plug setup. What I did was I just used a little tie wrap through the uh, one of the vent holes there and I figure that way I can run the uh, cable out the bottom and at least have my charging lead coming out on the same side as the balance leads. Okay YouTube, I think I got everything swapped around here. I cut off the input power connector, put in a Dean's female and then a male off of my lighter plug here and I've got that plugged into my little 12 volt power supply and if we turn on the switch we get power so there we go that looks like it works and then for now I'll just leave these alligator clips plugged into there but then I also have a an XT60 to Dean's so XT60 female to Dean's male that I can use to adapt all my IMAX B6 accessories. That way I can charge up any of the things I have adapters for with Dean's plugs by plugging that guy in. So I think I'm ready to go. I will turn this off and I got some batteries to charge. So I just wanted a second charger here. And this has a nice on off switch. I may build up a little better cable here. This is just what I had on hand. Anyway, that should make this a little easier to use since it's got the same adapters now as my IMAX B6. So I use the Deans for my reasonably high current devices and then I'll use the, my coax power plugs for smaller things like LED lights and things like that. So those are kind of my two go-to connectors. I'll use these for low current, these for a little bit higher current, and then I use like the Anderson power pole connectors for really high current. So pick a connector type. I'm not saying that the Dean's connectors are the best. They just happen to be what I started with. Uh, the IMAX uses those on all their adapters, so I figured might as well stick with something. And then, like I say, you can make adapters to go from Dean's to coax, and you can plug those in there. Pick just a couple of connector types and uh, use them accordingly. I'll do an update when I get a chance to try this out a little bit. If you found that video informative, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to the channel with the link in the lower right corner. And as always, thanks for watching.